Hello, Your Honor. Welcome back for the weekend, and thanks for logging in. Well, sunny and professional today for the Librans. The moon is in Cancer, so emotional focus has shifted now to your career. Now, one thing I got to tell you, with the moon in Cancer, everybody on the planet is crabby in Chapter 1, and they're all crabby if they need more self-nurturing. So if you encounter people who are crabby at work, it's because they're not nurturing themselves. Don't step up to the rescue and nurture them, because you're just creating a codependent in that case. But you might want to point out to them, hey, maybe you need an apple or something. Also, if you're crabby at work, you probably need to self-nurture as well. But it does mean your emotions are focused on career and legacy. And for those of you who are raising children, that's part of your legacy. Now over to the sun. We're in chapter three of sun in Taurus. And today, Saturn is ruling the day. And when Saturn rules a day in chapter three, it's time to commit. It is time, Libra, to commit to a certain boundary, either putting up a boundary, enforcing a boundary, or maybe releasing to a boundary. You're going to release, you're going to trust, you're going to allow, open, willing, and allowing. But either way, you're out of time, it's time to commit. That commitment is important so that we can light cast this reality and move on. And the sun is trining Saturn, which means that in order to commit to a boundary, you're going to have to take action and surrender to faith in yourself. Or, in order to commit to a boundary, you're going to have to face a weed in your soul garden so you have enough faith to actually enforce or commit to the boundary. Your faith in your weeds are tied to you making a commitment to certain boundaries, intimacy, or cutting things off. So, keep those two in mind. And it's Monday. We have a new episode of Julie Zipper's Meditation Vibration going live today. Now, she has taped a fifth Taurus episode, which is extra goody gumdrops for us, right? Because Taurus is about light casting our reality. So. If you're uncertain on how to be a magic maker out there, check out Julie. She's got the formula, and she's live today. All right, Libra, that wraps up Monday, but tomorrow I'm going to talk about rising signs. So you might want to check on yours before you show up and watch. Until tomorrow, live, love, be. So